going to be my long-awaited how to apply fake lashes video there's also a huge announcement in today's video and a giveaway that I am so excited about so if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get started so before we get into applying lashes I did want to go ahead and tell you guys what the big announcement is as you guys know I absolutely love D-Star lashes. I love them with all of my heart. They are the only lashes that I wear. Literally, not even figuratively, literally the only lashes that I wear. I love them so much. I talk about them all the time. And Destiny and I, Destiny is the owner of D-Star lashes. We actually were chatting and we decided to work on a little something together. So we decided to come out with a Pages Picks bundle where I picked my top three favorite lash styles from D-Star lashes along with the gold lash applicator and they are being sold as a bundle at a discounted price so the value of the three lashes and the lash applicator is $59 but it's being sold for $50 and of course you can use code PAGE for an additional 20% off which makes it 40 bucks for three amazing pairs of lashes that you can use over and over and over and over and over again plus a lash applicator which is key and you will get, you guys will see how I use my lash applicator every time I apply lashes in this video so the three styles that I picked for the bundle are of course Jacqueline, these are the lashes that I'm wearing today. They are not there. <laughs> they are right here. These ones I wear all the time. These were the ones that like stole my heart when I first started wearing D-Star lashes. I love them so much. They're so beautiful and just perfect. So these are the first style in the bundle. The second style is of course Crystal. These are another one of my most talked about lashes and most worn lashes. These are from the Icy Collection. I love them so much. They're so fluffy and perfect and then the third pair of lashes in the pages picks bundle is in the style daisy i talked about these pretty much every single day for like three months these were the only pair of lashes that i wore and i'm still on my first pair they are right here these are my pair and they're still going strong i have not thrown away a pair of d star lashes yet i just reuse them over and over again which makes them even more worth it honestly i try wearing other kinds of lashes or i tried prior to d star lashes and tried to wear them once and they were done like had to throw them away so um these are amazing quality. I love the styles. They have a bunch of different styles. They've got the bridal collection. They've got the baddie collection. They've got the icy collection. And then they also have their regular collection. They also have a fun little merch. They have a t-shirt. They have a little makeup bag and everything. So make sure you go check them out and make sure to check out the Pages Picks bundle. I'm so excited about it. Like seriously, ugh, it makes me so happy to be working with a company that I love so so much. I'm also giving away a Pages Picks bundle in this video. I'm not sure if I said that already or not. <laughs> I feel like I did, but maybe not. I might have just thought it in my head. So anyway, Destiny provided me with a Pages Picks bundle right here to give away in today's video. So all the rules and how to enter will be linked in the description box or they will be listed in the description box. My bad. So if you want to see my super super easy process on how I apply my lashes and hear all of my tips and tricks, then just keep watching. All right, you guys. So I know I look a little crazy because I have a full face of makeup on and no mascara or lashes but that is because I'm gonna be showing you how to apply fake lashes and I'm also going to be giving you my tips and tricks so I feel like pretty much anybody could benefit from watching this video if you've never worn fake lashes before if you've tried and failed like I did my entire life or if you wear them regularly I feel like I have some unique tips and tricks in here that I personally never heard anybody talk about but uh, they're things that I do that I found work for me just based on trial and error and practice so um, lashes are the last thing that I do in my makeup besides setting spray so I went ahead and did um, my entire makeup off camera but I did film a little Instagram video on this makeup look so if you're interested in it that should be up on my Instagram within the next few days um, so make sure you go follow me on Instagram so that you don't miss that so my first tip when applying lashes is finding a pair of lashes that works for you I know that sounds silly but I have gone through so many different pairs of lashes so many different brands so many different price points and none of them worked for me my entire life I tried I tried I tried and I just couldn't do it and um, one day I came across a brand called D star lashes and I freaking fell in 
love. I talk about them all the time on my channel. You guys know this. I have a discount code with them. You can use code PAGE for 20% off. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in and show you guys how I actually apply the lashes. So the first step is finding a good quality pair of lashes that works for you. I recommend starting more natural and then building your way up if you don't just want to dive right in. D Star Lashes actually has a bridal collection. There are four different styles and Deborah is my favorite style from the bridal collection. That's a very nice, beautiful, natural lash. I love it so much. Second is applying mascara. Some people apply it before, some people apply it after. I personally apply it before um, and then I don't apply it again. So a lot of people will apply mascara after they've applied their lashes to kind of mesh their false lashes and their real lashes together but I don't find that necessary so I'm just gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury full fat lashes mascara this is one of my favorite mascaras at the moment I love it so much it's really good at separating the lashes I feel like that's really important because um, it just helps them blend more naturally when you have a nice separation in your natural lash and it's not like clumpy and weird when you apply the false lashes on top so I kind of just go in I don't really spend too much time on mascara just because like I said I don't find it necessary but um, I just kind of do a nice light coat make sure the lashes are nice and black so now I have a nice coat of mascara on and now I'm gonna go ahead and crack open my lashes so I do want to show you something so these are the style Jaclyn this is what they look like right here they um, kind of get longer towards the outer part of the lash so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and trim them to trim them I just use these little scissors from Revlon that I got at TJ Maxx they're super cute you definitely want to start small when you're trimming your lashes because you can always trim off more but once you trim off too much you're kind of screwed so you want to go at a small pace but I have the little lash here and what I tend to do with most of the D star lashes lashes is I trim off a little snippet from the front and then a little snippet from the back and then it fits my eye almost perfectly every single time so I am just going to kind of trim this up a little bit so you can see and then I'm going to do the same thing to the back then I have this little like wad of lashes that sticks to literally everything and I find them all over the place. So then I just like to set it on my eye and see if I think that that looks about right. And it looks like I could probably trim off a tiny bit more. I didn't put any glue on or anything yet. I just set them there. So um, I might just trim like a tiny bit more off the front or the inner corner, I guess I should say. So now the lash is nice and trimmed. I feel like it looks like it's going to fit my eye pretty nice. Everybody's eye shape is different, so it's going to be different how much you trim off. So you're just going to have to try to, try to figure that out as you go. Um, but I feel like this is a good length, so I'm going to go ahead and trim the other one, and I'll be right back. So now I have both of the lashes trimmed and fitted to my eyes, which leads me to my next tip. And this is like one of the most important tips of the entire video, and this is something that I've never seen anybody mention before. This is just something that I've sort of figured out so I noticed that the more times I used my lashes the easier they were to apply and I was wondering why that was and I tried a couple different things and I figured out that it's because there is some residual glue left on the lashes and that helps them stick and stay in place so what I do when I have a fresh pair of lashes is I take my lash glue this is the Sephora collection brush tip lash adhesive this is the best lash glue what in the world? <laughs> This is the best lash glue I've ever used in my life. I, I've tried so many other ones. I've tried the duo lash glue with the green writing and it burned the crap out of my eyes. Every lash glue I've ever tried didn't work. This one is amazing. I love it so much. I'm still on my first tube. It's looking a little um, gross and like glue is all over the place, but um, it's still kicking. So um, what I like to do if I have a fresh pair of lashes is I apply glue to the lash band and I let it excuse you sorry <laughs> i don't know what is going on outside so what i do is i apply glue to the lash band and i let it dry completely and i find this makes applying lashes so much easier because it already has that little bit of grippiness to it that um 
you know most lashes don't necessarily have so i just apply a nice thin coat onto the lash you can kind of see it there and then i'm going to go ahead and move on to the other one and do the same thing and like i said i'm just going to let that dry completely so i will wait a few minutes until i see that the glue is dry the glue kind of has a bluish look to it when it's wet and then it turns to a clear glue once it's dry. I find that the brush tip applicator makes things so much easier than trying to like squeeze glue onto a lash band. That's just a no-go for me. This is the way to do it. And I think this is only like eight or $10. And like I said, I've had this for months and months and months and months and it's still going strong. So this is definitely a good investment. So now that the glue has completely dried on the lashes, I'm gonna go in with a second coat. This time I lost my lash glue. Okay, there it is. This time I'm going to wait until like it's tacky before I apply it and I'm not gonna let it dry all the way but now we have our own little like sticky base on there so I am gonna go back in with the brush tip lash adhesive I also make sure that I get it right on the ends of the eyelashes because that's typically where lashes tend to pull up first is like either the inner corner or the outer corner so I coated the lash I'm gonna set that down and then I'm going to coat this second one and by the time I finish coating this one the first one should be about ready to apply I like to time myself that way so that way I'm not like okay I'm gonna do this for 30 seconds it's just kind of like you know it's a little routine that I figured out so I'm applying lash or I'm applying glue to the second lash band now that I have glue on the second one I'm going to set that one down and go back to the first one and I will either go in with my lash applicator from D-Star Lashes and take the lashes and go like this or I will just use my fingers because I use the lash applicator for something else but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my fingers and I just set it right on top of my lash line just like that I get as close as possible and then I try to stick the back corner down and then I'll move on to the front corner and try to just touch that down and at first they are a little bit more delicate so if you were to sneeze right now it would probably fly off but um it looks like we've got it in a pretty good place so i'm just going to get up close with a mirror make sure i'm pressing towards the eyelid so that it's making good contact now i'm going to take the other lash that has glue on it and now it's about time to apply this one so I just go in and set it right on top of my lashes. The biggest thing here is making sure that you're pressing the lash into the eyelid and that there is contact being made because otherwise um, it's just resting on top of your lashes and it's not really adhering to anything. So just make sure that you're pushing that lash directly into the eyelid so i waited about 20 30 more seconds just to let the glue dry even more and you could honestly leave it like this and you're good to go i feel like it looks really really good this way but i do take one more step what i like to do is take this lash applicator and i go i position it so that it's the lashes are between the two prongs of the lash applicator and I get close to the lash line and I squeeze and it's basically the same thing as curling your lashes once you've applied fake lashes but I feel like this just makes it a lot better I don't know I just prefer using this tool so what I do is I will get up close to the lash line so that the lashes are in between the prongs and then I squeeze <laughs> this looks kind of creepy <laughs> um, but I squeeze it I hold it I'm not pinching the skin or anything and then I will take my other hand grab the lashes release and then boom it really really squeezes those fake lashes with your natural lashes and it makes the lash band look thinner than it is just because your lashes that are naturally lower than the false ones kind of get stuck to the ones above it and I just find that this is a little bit of an extra touch it really really helps blend in those lashes together um, and I used to go all the way across I used to do one squeeze here one squeeze here and one squeeze here but now I pretty much just do one squeeze on the outer corner and I feel like that's all that I need to do um, but 
when you're doing this, you need to be careful first of all. Second of all, you squeeze, you grab the lashes here, and then you release the squeezing tension on the lash applicator. But the reason I'm grabbing the lash here is because if I let go and just pull off, the lash could come off with me because there's like glue. You can tell that this is like <laughs> covered in glue. Um, so it could remove the lash. So that's why I hold the lash with the other hand just to res have some resistance so that I can pull this off freely. So I'll go ahead and do the other side as well. And there you have it. That was my lash application video. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. I feel like I keep things pretty simple, but I feel like I also have a lot of good little insight into the lash application process. So many of you guys tell me how much you love my lashes and I love them too <laughs> um, because they're D-Star lashes. And like I said, they're the only ones that I wear and um, I will have the Pages Picks bundle linked in the description box. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway to win the Pages Picks bundle. I'm so happy to have worked on something with D-Star lashes. Lashes. Shout out to Destiny for being so amazing and kind and sweet. So yeah, don't forget to use code PAGE for 20% off to save even more off the bundle and don't forget to enter the giveaway. All the information will be in the description box. Everything you need to know, I'll have a little summary and yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!